Now for programming the microcontrollers we need some hardware tools and these hardware tools are termed as programmers and debuggers to understand in depth about programming and debugging technology there are concepts of software debugging tools and hardware debugging tools in microcontroller world software debugging tools like gdb open ocd and hardware debugging tools like jlink pe micro stlink v2 or isp programmers for now as we are into the hardware development kit series we will stick to the hardware debugging technology and we will cover the software debugging technology in the software development kit part video of the microcontroller series these hardware tools act as an interface for microcontrollers to communicate with the whole desktop or pc where we are writing the program for these mcus so as to flash this program into the microcontroller and then debug the program line by line and monitor the microcontroller operation accordingly one of the ways these hardware tools are categorized is according to the debugging and programming protocols and broadly there are three protocols isp protocol which stands for in serial programming protocols jtag protocol and the swd protocol jtag is an industry standard protocol for testing debugging and programming the integrated chips it is supported and can be used with almost all the kinds of microcontrollers and jtag is an expensive protocol both in terms of pins and cost and as it consumes around 5 to 20 pins of a microcontroller and its hardware debugging tools are also expensive next comes the swd serial wire debug protocol is a two pin wire debug protocol which is developed by the arm for all the arm based microcontrollers and it is an alternative to the traditional jtag protocol designed to reduce the number of pins required for debugging and programming and making it compact and pin constrained devices you take any arm based microcontroller iswd debugging protocol and programming protocol would be supported on it third one is the isp which stands for the in serial programming via which only programming can be done debugging can't be done in this communication protocols like uart spa can are used all arduino uno boards and esp8266 and 32 boards support isp protocol in which uart and spa protocols are used can protocol is also used for automotive ecus in the vehicles so in nutshell to say jtag protocol is a universal protocol that can be used to cross number of microcontrollers as its programmers and debuggers are universal swd is a protocol that is specifically used for mcu specific according to the arm processor and isp protocol is used where we can only do programming and debugging can't be done like in the case of arduino and esp8266 and 32 boards now let's see which hardware tools are used according to this hardware and debugging protocols for jtag protocol there are hardware debuggers and programmers like lauterbach debugger sega jlink debuggers for swd protocols these can be categorized in two types first is hardware tools that are specific to the microcontroller family like stlink v2 debugger is specifically for arm based microcontrollers of stm32 family pe micro debuggers are specifically for arm based mcus of nxp s32k and i.mx microcontrollers each arm based mcu family would be having their own swd protocol based hard debuggers second there are hardware tools that supports programming and debugging of different arm based mcus via single hardware tool like sega jlink debuggers enables debugging for wide number of different arm cortex based mcus via it okay next is isp in serial programming examples are generic usb to uart converters for programming via uart protocol and can analyzer tools for programming via can protocol or isp programmers for programming via spi protocol like we use ftdi usb to uart converters for arduino uno boards for programming them via uart protocol and also there are usb to isp programmers for arduino uno boards only in which spi protocol is used on some development boards there is on board debugger or program a circuit of either jtag swd or isb based tools so we just need to connect this development boards or validation boards with the type c usb cable to the host pc for example stm32 nucleo board have on board swd protocol based stlink v2 debuggers on them arduino uno boards have uart to isp based programmers of uart protocol on them so we just need to connect them via the host pc via usb cable same way electronics version 3 validation board has on 
code Sager Jailing SWD programmer on them or programmer and debugger on them. So we just need to connect these uh, ST Electronics version 3 with the USB cable to our host PC or desktop. On some development boards, there is no onboard hardware or debugger in them. So we used external debuggers like in the case of STM32 Blue Pill, it has no onboard debugger on it. So we use external STLink V2 debuggers with it. Electronics version 2 automotive board has a no onboard programmer or debugger on them. So we use external Sager Jailing debuggers with them. So now that's all the things that we need to dwell into the programmers and debuggers from the microcontroller world and perspective. As if now we have covered two topics of development boards, evaluation boards and the programmers slash debuggers. Burgers. These are the mandatory tools which are required to start with any microcontroller if you want to make a project and learning on it. Further topics which we will dwell into are generic hardware tools that are good to have for making the development and learning process with the microcontroller. And that wraps up this video in our microcontroller technology series. If you are ready to take your microcontroller skills to the next level, don't forget to save this playlist of what is microcontroller technology as in this playlist over time you will find number of videos which will help you learn about these tips in chronological and interactive way by covering modern day industry level concepts, tools and technologies so as to become a skilled engineer and not just a graduated one. For viewers who wanted to expand their knowledge by hands on practical learning, check out our Introduction to Microcontroller Technology course 101 built around the industrial grade NXP S32 K144 microcontroller. This course dives deep into peripheral of modern day microcontrollers teaching you real world tools and techniques and no more just theory. Head over to edu.gettoby.com to learn more and get started. Let's keep learning, innovating and building together because a skilled engineer stands out not just a graduated one. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth tutorials and series videos. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss out our next videos and explore the next video so as to continue your learning in a chronological way from here and explore the full series playlist linked right here. Got any questions or ideas? Drop them in the comments below. We would love to hear from you.